Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning into the video. My name is Noel Jingli, and today I'll be reviewing the Converse Chuck Taylor Lowe's. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. I'll start off with my biggest complaint which is the fit of the shoe. The main thing you need to remember when planning to pick up a pair of Chuck Taylors is actually the sizing. Converse usually has very weird sizing. So for example, when you're looking at a size 7 UK like the one I have here, it would actually fit smaller. Typically another brand 7 UK usually translates to an 8 US or 41 Euro or when you measure it 26 centimeters. However, chucks are one size smaller when you convert it to the other sizes, meaning 7 UK is 7 US, 40 Euro or 25.5 centimeters. So do keep in mind to go at least a full size up when picking up a pair of chuck tailors. Also do take note that these will fit narrow, so if you have wider feet, add another half size up or else you'll suffer what I've suffered a foot full of blisters at the end of the day. On a similar note, the rubber toe box is also really uncomfortable unfortunately. However, I do need to test out another pair of chucks that actually fit me to be sure. From my experience with other brands that have this kind of rubber toe box, they are usually pressure points from where the rubber part ends. This is caused by the stiffness of the rubber itself and how it doesn't stretch or flex when you're walking or moving. Plus, there's usually extra room in these rubber toe boxes because your toes don't actually sit in them. So going back to fit, these should actually fit longer as well when you do get your proper size. Let's move on to a much positive note. I have always loved the simple Chuck Taylor silhouette, especially the lows. When you think about it, it's amazing how Converse nailed the design of the shoe, especially one that is more or less 100 years old. The canvas upper is super soft, yet it will support your movements when you do perform in these. If you didn't know, these were actually used as basketball shoes back in the day, and I think you can still use them? Actually, let me know if you'd like to see me actually test these out as basketball shoes and review them. But going back to the topic, some weightlifters do use these because of the flat and stable base it provides. It just goes to show I guess that the design is a testament of time. So good job Converse, as if you guys need me to tell you that. Well material wise, like I said the upper is predominantly canvas with that rubber toe box. The base of the shoe is wrapped in a rubber foxing tape. One thing about the tape is it's one of the bigger weak points when it comes to durability of these types of shoes. The part where our feet flex from walking will tear over time. This is a common problem among shoes that implement this feature. Brands like Vans also suffer from this issue as well. So for me personally it's not such a big deal but I do have to wonder why they haven't solved this issue for so long. Cushion wise, well. There is none in this particular pair, there isn't any arch support either. So that's another thing on the list to keep in mind of when buying these. Although there is padding and foam underneath your feet, it's just plain rubber and doesn't provide too much protection. Speaking of the rubber, the outsole is made of a rubber material, obviously right? I am not 100% certain if it's some kind of galvanized or gum rubber, but it is brown and it is rubber, so that's for sure. The pattern though is the classic diamond pattern we see on all Chuck Taylors. They work great, they get the job done, so no complaints here. So that is it for my review of the Converse Chuck Taylor Lowe's. You can get these in a lot and I mean a lot of colors. I picked this pink one up because it was on a huge discount. These retailed for 250 ringgit but I got them for more or less 70 ringgit because of some defects. It's nothing major, just some yellowing on the rubber parts of the shoe. You know the obvious when you keep these for too long. That's why I pulled the trigger on these even though they kind of fit small. It was my mistake but it wasn't a 200 ringgit mistake. However, it just goes to show that you can find great deals when it comes to picking up sneakers, especially sneakers like these that are really iconic. But you need to be willing to wait and even deal with the minor defects. Both these require patience so I guess that's what I'm trying to preach here. Yeah. If you have any questions regarding these or you want to share your personal thoughts and opinions, 
don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you love it, give this channel a sub. I greatly appreciate your support. With all that said, see you all in the next video. Bye.